we forget, often we forget that uh, 1968 was a very volatile time uh, among um, blacks and whites in the country. 1968 was when uh, the Black Power, um, Black Panthers and the Black Power movement really took uh, form, I would say, or, or, or um, impetus um, because of that was the year when the, um, uh, and I forget their names, the uh, two black athletes um, raised their fists during the, um, the medal ceremony. And it became like, you know, this uh, enormous thing. And it was, you know, it was a difficult racial time. What we forget often seems to be that um, those racial tensions still existed in Vietnam. And, you know, I, I, I wrote a poem in the book about the experience that Lonnie and I went through um, because we were the only mixed race bunker in the fire support base. I never really thought a lot about that as I, when I was writing my, my memoir, The Light Where Shadows End. I mention it, I, I, but it wasn't a big issue. And in the poetry book, um, Remembrances, it, it really, really dawned on me how unusual our experience was because Lonnie and I were from California and he was black, I was white. And in the fire sport base, there was a lot of segregation. It's kind of weird to think of that that way, but the bunkers were, there were like neighborhoods of black bunkers and neighborhoods of white bunkers. And Lonnie and I were a mixed race bunker. So whenever we walked around the fire sport base, we would get, um, you know, flack, I guess you would call it, from either the blacks or the whites. And that was part of our, um, our experience. And, and it was weird uh, because, you know, you're in a battle zone and when you're walking up the trail, it really doesn't matter what your skin color is. It doesn't matter at all, in any of those um, scenarios because you're all fighting together as one unit. But when you come back to the fire sport base, there was issues with, um, with blacks and whites. Um, not fights, but, you know, there was the tension and there was the, um, you know, at that time being draftees, everybody knew what was going on in the United States. And it was, you know, 1968 was a very volatile time. Um, so it was a, it was a very odd and, and I think unusual experience. I, I for me, because I had, I had, I had grown up in the, in the Brooklyn projects, race wasn't uh, an issue for me. It was, you know, everybody's lower class and, and we're all in this together. And, you know, I, I had, you know, they were my best friends. So um, I had a lot of things in common with them, even though they were black and I was white. Um, 